Democrats are assessing where things stand following the midterm elections this week. Yeah, votes are still being counted in several states to ultimately determine which party will be in control. And now the discussion is turning to 2024 and beyond. Former President Trump is expected to announce a run for the White House next week. But now some Virginia Republicans are saying the party should move on without him. News 3 reporter Brendan Ponton spoke with one of those local Republicans. Brendan, we know this is getting a lot of buzz on social media, especially. What are people saying? Virginia Beach Delegate Tim Anderson says the former president is too divisive to win in Virginia and says it's time to look elsewhere. Virginia Beach State Delegate Tim Anderson is not one to shy away from a controversial topic, both as a lawmaker and a lawyer. And now he's at the center of a hot button topic within his Republican Party. Should Donald Trump remain the head of the party and run for president again? It's time for him to exit stage right. This week, Anderson posted on Facebook saying he would no longer be supporting the former president. The self-described conservative says he voted for Trump twice but won't again. Now you can break away from Donald Trump and still say I agreed with uh, his policies, but the way he governed the way he communicates, the way he attacks Republicans, it's unforgivable. Anderson points to electoral losses in Virginia since Trump came to power as his reasoning. And as it appears Trump is gearing up to potentially run for 2024, Anderson says it's clear Trump is unpopular with moderates and independents in Virginia, both of whom he says are needed for Republicans to win here. We can be much more like Glenn Youngkin in Virginia. Uh, and a lot less like Donald Trump. On Thursday, Lieutenant Governor Winsome Sears went on Fox Business Network and also said it's time to move on from Trump. But not all in the party agree. Chesterfield State Senator Amanda Chase has long been a Trump supporter and responded to Sears and Anderson. So I think it was extremely inappropriate and um, I, I just, I think it was not well timed. On Friday in Richmond, Governor Yunkin was asked if he agrees, but he said he has not weighed in on that. Trump, though, took to his social media platform, Truth Social, and insinuated Yunkin's name sounds Chinese and took credit for Yunkin's victory last year. Yunkin, who's thought to be a potential 2024 contender himself, said he hadn't seen the post ahead of time. You, you all know me. I do, I do not uh, call people names. I, I uh, really work hard to bring people together, and he's that's what we're working calling. on. Anderson says he's gotten a mixed response to his stance on Trump, and says he's prepared to accept any political consequences. Even if I lose my next election, I would rather be able to say, I'm a Republican, I'm a Reagan kind of Republican, I am not a Trump Republican. Now, Anderson will be on the ballot again next year. He is planning to run again for delegate in the newly drawn 100th district, which includes parts of Virginia Beach and the Eastern Shore. I'm Brendan Ponton, News 3.